Hi, let us understand more about tokens using a demo. If I provide the command vault token, it's going to provide help as well as various subcommands available within it like capabilities, create, lookup, renew and revoke. To start the demo, I'm going to log in using the root token. Vault, login and then the root token provided as a part of the init process. I have logged in as the root token and I will be having the root policies. Now I am going to create a new token. Already we did few of these steps like creating a new token. Let me go ahead and create a token with the command vault token create. That's going to provide me the token ID. This is the actual token ID that will get generated. Since I have not provided the policy, automatically the parent policy will get attached. The policy that's attached is root. And the token which created this particular policy is also having the root policy and the token duration that is infinite in the sense it will not get expired. And the token renewable it's false and we don't need to renew this particular token because it will not get expired. This token accessor is what will be used to see the details without using the token ID. I can do operations using this particular token or by the accessor ID. In case if I am going to use the accessor, I need to pass the flag saying this is the accessor that I am providing that we will be saying through a separate demo. Now let's do the sub commands like lookup, renew and revoke. I'm going to use the token ID, vault token lookup and then the token ID. That's going to provide the information about this particular token when it was created, what is the TTL in the sense time to leave and uh, when it was issued, what is the policy attached to it, whether it is renewable and the type of token. The token by default is going to get created will be of type service. Now let me create a policy with the policy file like we did earlier and create token using it. So this is the policy that we had created earlier for the, for the policy demo. Now I'm going to create policy using this particular HCL file. Vault policy, write this particular policy name and use this particular HCL file. The policy is written. I can check whether the policy is created successfully or not using the command vault policy list. Yes, the policy is created. I can read the policy and check what are all the capabilities listed within the policy using the command vault policy read and the policy name. Within this, I am going to have create and update policy in all the location within my secret path and only within the folder for view only, I will be having the read capability. Now I am going to create a token using this particular policy, vault token create and I will provide the policy flag dash policy and what policy to use. So here the token policy, it's going to have default and my secret path policy. All the tokens that are getting created by default it will have the default policy getting attached and the default duration will be 768 hours. And whether it is renewable or not, yes, it is renewable. Now I can use this particular policy ID and check the capability. Let me log in with this particular token. I have logged in with this particular token. Now I'm going to check what capability it has within the my secret path. It has the capability create and update. The same way I can check the capability within the folder for view only. All the path that I'm going to mention, I will be having this particular information slash data after the secret engine path. In case if I'm going to work with the metadata, I need to use the metadata. Most of the time users will be making mistake over here. They will consider data also as a path. It is not. It's going to have read permission only within for view only path within the my secret path secret engine. Now I can use the lookup renew command and see how it's going to behave. Now let's do the lookup and renew for this particular token. For that I'm going to log in as the root user because only root user will have the permission to do any operation against the tokens or I have to create a separate token which will have the permission to do the renew and lookup activity. 
Now I wanted to check the capability against this specific token. So I will be adding the token as well over here and provide the path. So for this particular token within this particular path, I will have only read capability. Now I can do the lookup of this particular token using the command vault token lookup and the token ID. So the expiry time is 2020 10 23. Note down this particular time 201737. And time to leave it has 767 hours 56 minutes and 50 seconds. If I do another lookup, whatever the duration that we had earlier, it will get reduced. Now I'm going to renew this particular token and see what happens. Now I'm doing the lookup of this particular token. Here I do have the information. Since the token was created with the maximum TTL, we will not be in a position to renew. It will get capped. And even if I give the renew, it's going to give the warning message. It's exceeding the effective maximum TTL. So it will be capped accordingly. We will be seeing more detail about how this particular renew where it will be useful as a part of the periodic token or by providing the incremental duration. So by this way, I can do the lookup of the token that we had created using the root token and we can create the token using the limits or the periodic token and renew the token using the increment option where it will be available for X amount of duration as we had provided the increment. The periodic token and the use limit tokens, we will be creating it in the next lecture.